Hi everyone, Andrew Goodall here again from Nature's Image Photography with another video on the Panasonic Lumix G9 with the Leica Panasonic 100-400mm lens. Today it's all about close-ups and the subject is butterflies, but before we get started, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button to stay in touch with all my future content on this camera and lens combo. So I bought this lens specifically for shooting wildlife, but I want to test how versatile it can be for a variety of subjects. For example, I know it can't shoot a genuine macro, but if it can get close enough for a decent close-up, then maybe it'll save me having to carry a separate macro lens each time I travel overseas. Here's my train of thought. The lens has a close focus limit of 1.3 meters. That's actually pretty close for a, such a powerful telephoto lens. The 400 mm focal length is equivalent to 800 mm in full frame terms. So I've got a lens that can zoom in a long way on fairly close subjects. And then add to that one of the world's best image stabilizers, which means I can shoot handheld at slower shutter speeds than you might expect. Well, I decided to try all this out at the Bribe Island Butterfly House north of Brisbane. And now I want to show you my results. I'm going to share some of my best shots and the settings I used to take them. But before we start, here are a few of the essentials. I do all of my photography in manual mode. That means I set the shutter speed, the aperture and the ISO myself. Obviously I prefer to shoot at low ISO when I can and today I started at 320 ISO but as you'll see I was prepared to go higher if the light was a bit low or if I needed a faster shutter speed. My focus mode was AFS or autofocus single. This allows me to focus first and then keep my finger on the button while I recompose the shot. And the autofocus area mode is set to single point so I can focus on the head of the subject as well as possible. My white balance is set to auto or AWB and if I need to make any changes to the white balance, I do that afterwards in post-processing. So, there's my fairly long introduction. Now sit back and enjoy my photos from an afternoon at the Bribe Island Butterfly House.